Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to another Core Set 2021 draft here on the channel. Before I dive in, I do want to remind you that if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section down below with any questions or feedback. Also, click that bell so you don't miss any future videos, and uh, check out the stream at twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas. I think I saw... Ah, Nico Bobinus. So I I thought it said like so it was some take on Nikolai Bolas, but it was not. Okay, what have we opened here? We have opened Chromatic Orrery. So it is a expensive mana ramp card. It costs seven, but then it immediately gives you back five. And you can start drawing cards for each color among permanents you control. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that's a pretty powerful card, I guess. I don't know how good it is. I have never played with it. But I think that's only one way to find out. I mean, you can always kind of suspect how good a card is, but... Expensive 7 drop. Sounds like a good one to try out. Cultivate's also a pretty good card. Leads to some nice decks. Feet of Resistance is probably the best card in this pack, just objectively. Tyranodon's also great. We're going to try out the Orrery, though. Got to experiment. You know how it is. Got to try out these cards. Not going to take the Fungal Rebirth, though. Not a big fan of that one. I think we're going to probably take the Swift Response here. If we'd taken Feet of Resistance, we could follow it up with the Houndmaster. But I think Swift Response is going to be a nice little defensive tool for a Chromatic or a Redeck. I have to assume that at least. And maybe wheel this land. The Alpine Houndmaster is quite good though. Fungal Rebirth, not my favorite card here. This card has kind of underwhelmed me. It's really tricky to get the 1-1s one from it. Larson is not my favorite. But we're trying new things here. We got this Orrery going. Sabretooth is probably going to wheel. I found that the Dilophosaur and the Sabretooth both go really down for me because you can kind of get one of those and they're fairly interchangeable. We're going for a control deck here. Creature card only, so I can't get my Orrery with my Fierce Empath. Unfortunate. Well, this is a tad unfortunate as well. We would have had a pretty sweet white aggro deck just get two Handmasters in a row if we'd started with Feet of Resistance. But I like to try these more late-game control deck builds anyway, these experimental ones. The Fierce Empath can be good. I'm not going to take Sky Scanner. It's a pretty low priority card for me. I'm going to take Frantic Inventory. Try to get into a blue-white control deck maybe that uses Chromatic Ori as a finisher. Could be a nice opportunity to pick up a, a Frantic Inventory. Prismite's okay in this type of deck sometimes. Not going to take it here, though. Thrill is okay. We could take a Falconer Adept, but that's not ideal. Mutt can be okay. We could take Mutt over the Archer. Archer's okay as well. I do like getting access to at least one Archer, though. We could also take, like, a Gnarled Sage. Each color. So this does reward us for going, like, five color. We could be a base green deck, but I don't want to prioritize Snare Spinner too highly. I think we'll just take one copy of Mutt. And now a perfect opportunity to pick up a green-black card. It draws us two cards with our Ori, which is nice. We are going to want to be green at some point here, I think. So we'll just keep taking these. I think we could have had a pretty great red-white deck, but I like to experiment with these Mythics so everyone can see if they are actually good and... This is a perfect card for the Mythic. Gold cards work really well. Wow, tricky pick here. There is a land, which probably has to be the pick. There's also a Leafkin Avenger, which is a nice ramp card. Ramps up to Ori, and then we use the Ori to draw cards, thanks to that. Hmm. Huh. The land is tempting, though. I think we're going to want to be five color with the Ori. So we'll just keep taking the lands aggressively, but we're going to want to be base green, I think. Probably want to be gray, base green, blue, or gray, green, red, or green, white. Hmm. Temple is tempting, but we're not going to take it. Okie doke. So now we are going to take a land. We're going to basically take every land we can justify. Shacklegeist doesn't block, so not really what we're looking for. We could have probably justified the land in that last pack, but we do want to make sure we have powerful gold cards, because those do work well with Orrery. This also ramps us up to Orrery. I like the frantic inventory plan, because it can draw us into it. Yeah, we can wheel as many dual lands, hopefully. Hopefully we build quite a few. 
So we're off to a crazy start here. We are a follower of his teachings when it comes to the art of war, I guess. Decklist. I like I like having that on the stream titles. It's kind of fun. Okay, we'll take a keen glide master. Nice little two drop. That can be a late game card. Over the black guard. I don't know. It's a fun thing to put in the stream title. The plan with the Ori is to make take advantage of the fact that it says spend mana as though it ran of any color. And also draw a card for each color among permanents. So we are going to have permanents of all the colors. It will be Echo. I don't think the cultivate that we opened is going to wheel, but it could. And that would be great. We're looking for Wall of Runes. Porkless Vine. Those types of things would be great. Wow, no respect for feet of resistance. Hmm. Maybe indulging patrician is better just because I'm not really a. And the life gain could be good, and I'm not really a feet of resistance type deck. Let's just pick the patrician. It's another gold card. A land wield. I would love us. I would probably play a snare spinner, but just gotta get as many lands as I can. And now I will take a Feed of Resistance over a Pride Walk in Daybreak Charger. Fungal Rebirth is probably medium, but Feed of Resistance is still going to be good. It's like a counter spell for this deck. Canopy Stalker or Skeleton Archer. Probably would rather have the Archer. Wow, Jaku, that's awesome. I'm so glad you've been enjoying the content for all this time. Blood Glutton or Blackguard. We'll probably take... Uh, blood glutton, but I don't want to play it. Okay. Pack two. What do we see here? Lore scale coatl is great. So is visionary. We're just going to take visionary. I do like me a lore scale coatl. But we just need to wait, we wait to ramp up to our expensive stuff, draw through our deck. All those types of things. Lore scale coatl is fantastic, though. It's also another gold card. Vito is also a house. Maybe we we're just supposed to take Veto. This card is insane. Hmm. Awesome Gizmo. This card's probably just such a house that it's better to take than Visionary. Hmm. Let's do it. And now a Sanctum. We'll take that over the Speaker of Heavens. Speaker is not going to be great in this deck. Maybe we could have had a lean, mean, black, white, life gain machine here. Maybe it's not too late. Wow, all these life gain payoffs. Griffin Airy. Make a 2-2. Animal Sanctuary could be nice. How many cats, dogs, stuff do we have? Dot one dog. Probably just gonna take this land. Griffin area seems a bit unreliable to me. We could also just abandon this chromatic orrery plan. We could leave one, two, three, four, five cards. We would lose five cards. We'd probably play the blood glutton and the walking corpse then. I just don't think I want to go for the white black life gain deck. I think this deck is gonna be sweeter and better. Maybe I'm just supposed to take this and then just go for the life gain deck, but I just... I don't love the life gain deck, it gotta be said. Another frantic inventory is nice. I haven't passed any of these by accident by losing my focus, have I? One can only hope I have not. Okay, and now there's a Hunter's Edge. There's also a Sky Scanner, which I'd probably play in this deck, but I'm just gonna take the Hunter's Edge. <laughs> It's like a silent dart, maybe. Pitch burn's not really my type of card. We could take a fetid imp as an early drop that's defensive. We could also take lofty denial, but I don't love that. 
Well, eliminate's good. As is anointed chorister. <laughs> so far, we don't have a good reason to be red. So we're going to kind of avoid the red cards. The life gain deck is just super hard to facilitate. There's not like great ways to gain three life. Like Chorister is one way, Blood Glutton's another. So we're gonna play four color without um without uh red. We don't have any red lands either, so it doesn't really matter. Assuming we get some more blue cards. You only get so many chances to build around Chromatic Ori. This could have been a pretty cool life gain deck though, I think. Huh. Let's take Gourmand. Don't love Vessel. Don't love Secure the Scene. And Gourmand's great, so... We'll probably be able to find some ways to enable it, hopefully. The moment blue is looking pretty dodgy. Hmm. Whew. Going where no drafter has gone before. Might not work out very well. You never know. Looking like four-color mono black, the classic. It's an archetype built in heaven, as they say. I don't love the cauldron. Wall of runes is sometimes a good card for these for defensive decks. But it looks like I'm like a base black deck. Village rise could be okay. We're just gonna take the wall though. I don't like secure the scene either. Wow, speaker of heavens came back. Another Mauler, Mutt. I'm just going to take a Prismite to get a 2-drop. That also helps with my mana sometimes. I don't need another Mutt. I don't need a Sabertooth Mauler. War Warmonger is not my type of card. We're just going to take a Crypt Lurker. Silent Dart could make the cut. Bad Deal is probably not going to make it. Now there's Steward. Okay. What do we have here? Do lands have color? No, they do not. Lands are colorless. Okay, so this Prismite will wheel, which is nice. Ruined Halo could be okay sometimes, but not really a high priority for me. I like... Hmm, let's look at our deck. So far, green's not looking like a main color of ours. We're like a... Maybe just black-white in the early game, and then some green later. Let's just take Grasp. Great removal spell. I'm a pretty heavy black deck. another sanctum there's also another eliminate and there's a grasp there's also truffle snap which works well with some of our life gain payoffs which is nice hopefully this wheels i think a second sanctum is a bit too much because if i drop both then i'm gonna be pretty unhappy because i don't have a way to get rid of it hmm. i think eliminates better than grasp just because it's way easier to cast sure i'm gonna be heavy black but i think i still want the card that's easier to cast in this particular spot. Because my deck is going to be quite a few colors, maybe. Okay. There's an airy, but again, like, we haven't really seen, like, the only ways to really gain three life are, like, revitalize or playing junkers like Blood Glutton. Hmm. I could take the land, I could just take the Hunter's Edge. Veto does, but if I have Veto and I'm hitting them and gaining three life a turn, I'm doing pretty well. I think I just take the Hunter... Eh, I think I just take Finishing Blow as a removal spell and then try to wheel the Jungle Hollow. Well, there's a Malefic Scythe. That card's a house. There's also a Fabled Passage. Hmm. 
Alright, another Sanctum. I wish we'd gotten Sanctums in some other colors. There's a Reign of Revelation in blue. Rugged Highlands in gr for green. Let's just take day Daybreak Charger. And now just a 3 drop. So it looks like we're just a black white deck now. With some random green stuff. We didn't get there on the blue cards. Seed Striker, not my favorite. Take a Gale Swooper. Ooh, late Conclave Mentor. Do we have any counters? Not really. We could take Feet of Resistance. Let's just take the Llanowar Visionary, though. It's pretty hard to be too heavy on two drops in this format. We'll take a Prismite now. Another Sanctum. Hmm. Yikes. Weird deck here. We definitely could have had a sweet white green deck, I think. We're just going to keep taking lands. This is a good card, though. We're going to play an Abzan build, I think. Not maybe super necessary, but I like splashing around, and I think we have the tools to do it. When you have the tools to splash, it feels kind of wasteful not to sometimes. Okay, we can't. We're not going to play multiple Sanctums, I don't think. Alchemist Skift is going to get into the deck with Double Skeleton Archer. Whew. This is a weird brew. Don't need Silent Dart. I don't think Speaker is going to make the cut. Don't need two Prismites. Don't really want Pride Malk in. Probably don't want Gale Swooper either. We're not playing any blues, so we don't need these cards. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What do we want here? I could see cutting Crypt Lurker. Though having a way to sacrifice things is kind of nice. Hmm. 13 creatures. Mutt is double white. But it's a 5 drop, so I'll be able to cast it by then. Hmm. I think Glutton is terrible, and I've tried my best to avoid playing it whenever possible. I am not disappointed about not grabbing Dove, I'll tell you that much. Okay. Hmm. Want to help me cook in a little bit? Yep. Uh, we'll make the uh, potatoes, we'll shock us some corn, and then we'll get the ribs on some... Uh, oh, baby. A uh, cooking sheet with some uh, aluminum foil. Fantastic. Okay. What do we want to cut here? Maybe Crypt Lurker. We have Gormon as a way to sack our creatures. This seems okay. 6, 12, 15, 16, 17. Hmm. Maybe we can cut a green mana for a black mana. This gives us four, nine, six. Eh, that seems okay. It's not the greatest. Eh. Move for planes. That way we have seven. Yeah, that seems much better. Well, we're gonna try it out. Our chromatic ordery deck didn't come together as sweet as I was hoping, but you know, you gotta risk it to get the biscuit sometimes. 
Before I get to the matches, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons over at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas, especially those who support me at the credits level. I really appreciate the support and thank you so much for helping me continue to produce high quality content on a consistent basis. It really does help me out a ton. And if you'd like more information about what it means to become a patron and the cool rewards you get as my way of saying thank you, you can find that information at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. Without further ado, though, let's get to the matches. We're on the draw against Monka S with the most Monka S deck of all time. We're going to mulligan this hand. There's a reward in chat for chat with channel points, Barricade, for me looking at your deck. So I try to just look at decks after that, that. So if you watch the stream for a bit, then you'll probably have enough points. It's not like it requires anything. We're definitely mulliganing this hand. Slow as heck. Yep, yep, yep. This hand is much better. Hey, Patricia, let's go. Watchdog, okay. We weren't really planning on attacking there, so. Now we will attack, now that we have Grasp up. Yep, swift response, bummer. We could have just never attacked. That would have been an option. We'll just use our mana. Oh, of course they have feet of resistance. Hey, the plan worked. This deck is not very good, I don't think. Though to be fair, I am just drawing a lot of lands and they have four lands, so. Hey, that's a card. We didn't see any sanctums except for black. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Well, I kind of want to concede now, not going to lie. Life's all right. Life's going well. I can't believe they had mutt the turn I played that. Yeah, I think we're just going to concede this game and move to the next game. There's no way we win. We just have no action in our deck that can make up for this. Yeah, I'll see you folks in the next round. Welcome to round two. Keeping our hand with all our colors. I think my black-white deck would have been great. Black-white looked really open. I saw like six payoffs for it, but I tunnel-visioned on my five-color deck. Also, I like 
still don't know how well I could have triggered my life gain payoff cards because I didn't see any revitalizes. We're gonna try and get him to waste mana on this guy. card <laughs> I'll let him tap it for mana for this turn wrecked hopefully Not the best gourmand in the world, but you know. So we're I'm winning the race right now. I can't attack anymore. Yep. Whew. Well, that was a nightmare. I cut all the green cards and stuff for just playing black white because we have way in, totally enough cards to play black-white. I kept Ori in because I want to try it out, but you know. <sighs> if I just focused on this deck, I could have had a pretty sweet one. Or if I had just not first picked Ori, I would have had a good deck. I would have had an unbelievable red-white deck, I think. But that's the way it goes. You try to try new things. Yeah, at this point I am. I got some stuff when I used to um, make like constructed videos and stuff because I needed the cards. But and back when I like had just started the account, but yeah, I haven't bought anything for a long time. Kill that guy. I wonder if Green Black is going to have any enchantments to kill. Hey, land boy. Oh, baby. This feels like you can never win. This has got to be the most backbreaking feeling in the entire format, or one of them. I mean, just getting rambunctious mudded. Like, oh my gosh. I should have done this post combat. Oh, 
I think I'm gonna sack the Deathbloom Talon. I could do one one and drawing a card is really valuable. Um, well, this deck wasn't a best version of the deck that it could be. I'll say that much. The deck totally could have been way better. But I botched it in the draft. Well, I didn't botch it. I tried for too much. I got greedy. <laughs> I was trying to play like a five-color deck built around Chromatic Ori. Hunter's Edge. Yep. Should've played that post-combat. I'm not playing my best today. This is why we showed patience. Pretty happy with how I played that, at least. We're gonna hit him with the early GG. This deck is doing pretty well. They just tapped four mana without casting a spell. <laughs> Slow and steady. Maybe I should play another Sanctum. <laughs> They're legendary, which makes it quite bad to draw up multiples, but you know happens. Yay, hey, we got a win. We stave off Demotion from Platinum 1. I'll see you in the next round. Welcome to another round. Staving off Demotion with this deck. Looks like a defensive grindy deck. They have learned the truth. Wall of Runes, hype. 
Oh gosh. Let's just get this thing down. It's gonna be sick. Library Larcenist, okay. That's gonna have to die. Yeah, it really isn't. Really hoping they don't have a scorching. Ayo. We are in great shape. Okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. Way too soon there. We're chilling. Well, that's absurd. Three to fairy tutelage. That's basically unbeatable. Oh, I. Why did I do that? Oh no, because it would have tapped it. I couldn't have used it to ambush. Scythe counter. If I don't equip, they'll know I have Alchemist's gift. Got to keep up appearances then. They're actually heavily incentivized to attack me with both of these guys, and then I can swing in for eight and the win. I don't like putting it on Gormond because then if they kill Gormond, they can hit me for three extra damage. Okay, that's horrifying. Hey, I think we got there. So I could eliminate my own Malefic Scythe creature and equip it to the Gormon that way.
they have a bounce spell? Please, no. Hey, we got the job done! Oh yeah. We beat Chandra! Let's go! <laughs> Victory! See you in the next round. Welcome to another round. We have Vito! He's come! Vito has risen. Oh, come all ye Vitos. Dusk Rose, you're the bestest. This is going to be a good curve. Three, four, five, six. A Brooklyn accent. Hey, yo, Vito. They have a removal spell. I'm okay if they use a removal spell on my Thalid. The Blackguard. Oh, the Blackguard will not live, live, live for long. Okay, sure. That's okay. We're all chill here. Pew 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 pew! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! Oh, this is gonna be glorious. Hey, I'm Vito, the Throne of the Dark Rose. We'll block this guy because this guy, even if he can technically do us more damage this turn, dies to eliminate. Oh, they're so dead. They are so completely and utterly dead. Charge! We'll block and then they'll pump one and we'll eliminate it and Bob your uncle. Or nephew. Or cousin or brother. You know, Bob can be a lot of things to a lot of people. So they can pump this guy a bunch of times. We will swift response it. Hey! Next turn, Blood Glutton, and then Gale Super on Blood Glutton. Okay, that's just a little bit of a sidetrack. And now if I draw land, I can go Gale Super plus Grasp. Oh, it's all going as I have foreseen. Hey! Oh, yeah. Yes! Yes! They were dead! 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> Boom! This deck is rolling! Oh, yes. And with our complete 180 of a deck, we have gone from zero to hero very quickly. And now we're rolling on them. Oh, yes. Hey! Let's go! I will kill the Elder now. You would like to buy a hamburger? No, that's a... Uh... Hey, they have life gain synergies. Interesting. Interessant. Just gonna play this guy. 
we'll hold up feet of resistance for our veto. <laughs> this is a, uh, it's a weird one. You're going to, if you're a black, white fanboy, you're going to be cringing during the drafting portion, land boy. I could have had two Griffin Aries. There's something real. There's something strong. He was me. He was me. He was wrong. Okay. We can always use this later to make this guy untap. But I'd, I'd rather protect the veto right now. Don't, don't counter me now. I really want to keep him around. Protection from red. Yes, Vito's here to stay. No, they're gonna kill him again. Oh wait, I can. Oh, no, I can't activate it. No, that's a bummer. Well, that is a bummer. There's something big. There's something small. What the heck? Okay. Boom! This guy's hitting for eight! Holy heck. The massacre. The passive still works. Good game, opponent. Yes! Yes! We are victorious! We've almost got it into plat in a diamond with this deck! We can do it! Let's go! Final attempt. The final hurdle. On our path to diamond. Some we have a option if we draw a mountain to have the sanctum. We're gonna mulligan. We do not have veto in this hand. Okay, this hand is also bad. We're going to keep it. I'm going to get rid of a land just because I need to draw planes to cast my spells anyway. Well, that was good. The lifelink cards will carry me to the finish line, I believe. Daybreak Charger buffing it up for more life gain. They're going to have to kill the Speaker of Heavens. But they don't want to do it. I have to get to seven more life? Are you kidding me? That's so much life. Oh my gosh, this hits like a truck. Go over on the build around fun decks. Thank you, chat. You have inspired me. Whoa, they're attacking. That's not a good sign for me, I don't think. Okay, that's a fine sign for me. This guy's useless. Uh, oh, the Ori is in the house. Maybe not ideal, but you know, we'll try our best. Blood Glutton could be cute, could be huge.
Are they going to be able to sacrifice it? No, they're not. Wow. So I can suicide this guy in now. He's not going to get anything else done. Just hold our eliminate, see what happens. If Blood Glutton hits the board, I think we're in great shape. Oh, man. Play there, three drop or four drop. Well, I'm glad we waited. That worked out, shall we say? I suspect that they were not going to be attacking me anytime soon, so swift responsing there works. Oh my gosh! Yeah, probably the best eliminate target ever. I like three for one of them. Two for one of them. But still. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. But he was mean and he was cruel and I'm gonna fight. They're going to jump here, and then I just punch it. Let's just use, hold our eliminate for now, though. We don't need to do anything too crazy. I think we win, though we're casting all our cheap spells. Our deck is crazy, even though we have no land. So we kill this. Cause we do want to be able to jam Blood Glutton if we draw something. We could kill this. Let's just kill this guy. He's way better. Have fun, land boy. The Blood Glutton will kill them with the Indulging Patrician Trigger! Oh, yes! If they bring this back as a 5-5, five, five, we're chillin'. Go for it, buddy! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my gosh, we're gonna make it into Diamond with this deck! What a complete 180! We get completely smashed two rounds in a row. Oh, nice. Well, they're dead. Hit him with a good game. 
So they block here, they shoot there, they're still dead. Okay. Let's just assume that they block here, they shoot there, they're still wildly dead. And the indulging patrician triggered to finish them off. Boom! Nice! Got the victory! I'll see you folks in Diamond! Let's go, chat! That was my goal for the stream, was to get into Diamond, but I did not think this deck would pull it off with such ease, too! Just switch decks, complete 180! Unbelievable. Well, we didn't really do anything with the Orrery that game, but we're going to keep it in for science. And I'll see you in the next round. Welcome to another round! We're crushing it with these draws! Look at this! Three drop! Five drop! This guy! Did I give this guy flying? I like saving the Gale Super for after that if I can. And mission accomplished, because we have a new four drop. There's a new four drop in town! A new sheriff! This is a pretty fine removal target for them, if they have a Liminate or something. Masked Blackguard. Wow, it's going to line up so well. I do deck... Oh, we're not going to block. We have the perfect ping. We, I do deck reviews if people redeem channel points, which you just get for watching the stream, so it's not like a huge difficulty. Okay, land me. Nope, no land. Um. Well, it's a bummer. Blackguard has not been sacrificed. We can eliminate this guy. Once I draw land to ping them, then they'll be sorry. Land me, yes. We just have to keep hitting this guy in, because they have a sure strike or a titanic growth or something like that. We'll definitely block. Just don't want to take too much damage. Just give me a land for the blood glutton, maybe. Hmm. Veto's a pretty good one if they don't kill it. Definitely not blocking these. These jokers. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. I think they're dead next turn though. They take two from this, two from this. And then Vito gets him. Always look on the bright side of life. Well, we saved our creature. Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh, the whistle. 
Uh, I don't want to whistle into the microphone. Wow, six straight wins just back to back to back to back to back to back. I, I lost count. I'll see you folks in the next round. Welcome to the final round where legends are born. What a hand. We're on the play and we've got turn one speaker. We have turn three veto and we have our aura reefer if we wanted to go crazy. Hello. Don't shock me. Oh, thank goodness. It's, it's insane. This is amazing. I should have played Vito pre-combat. I'm trying to bait out the removal spell clearly. It didn't work. They have to decide which to kill now. I could have done one extra damage if I just played this pre-combat. But they had to fear my, like, my, like, feet of resistance and stuff. They have to kill Vito. Vito's way more important. Yeah. I understand. So they do two, I go to 21. Well, I think we're just going to go for the safe play. There's two plays here that we could consider. We could just Alchemist Gift this to give it lifelink. And then we would uh, hit them for four, go up to 27. But they're all holding up a lot of mana, so we're going to go for the safer line here. I guess this isn't even a safer line, because if they have Scorching Dragonfire, we still get owned. Well, I guess we blew that. Yeah, I, I was like, totally in my own world there. Hitting them for four every turn, essentially. Okay. So if they don't kill my Gale Super, I win. Blocks. Oh, I forgot this guy was attacking. LOL, I would have lost it at a fine strike. I totally would have jumped with this. I totally forgot this guy was attacking.
We got the win! Oh my gosh, we got the reverse sweep! Wow! We start off 0-2 and then just win seven in a row? Holy heck! Wow! I didn't even play that properly. I should have totally jumped with my 1-1. One -one. Wow! What a turnaround! If you were watching this on YouTube and you made it all the way to the end of the video, in the comment section down below, leave hashtag lifegain turnaround or hashtag life lifegain 180 to let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video because that was truly spectacular watching this get deck start off 0-2, take out all the random green cards, and then go seven wins in a row. Chromatic Ori, kind of a bust. It wasn't good in that last game where we drew it. It would have been just like way better to have a walking corpse or a bad deal or pretty much anything, but that was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, baby Finland, I wanted to resign the deck crazy stuff but yeah remember to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel leave a comment in the comment section down below with any questions or feedback hashtag life gain 180 what a fantastic deck this ended up being uh speaker of the heavens is kind of tricky to get going but i mean we didn't have a perfect life gain deck just a classic 7-0 take with this one i mean the, the o2 was kind of a different deck but almost but yeah crazy draft crazy matches and we made it all the way into diamonds so i do hope you enjoyed this one remember to check out the twitch stream at twitch.tv slash nikolai bolas check out the discord server in the description and pinned comment it's free to join and you can support me directly via the patreon patreon.com slash nikolai bolas that's gonna do it for this one i hope you enjoyed it i know i certainly had a blast and i will talk to you next time